Have you ever wondered why a Belgian tourist might bring a ladder to the bar? Well, we can't promise it's to reach for the world's best beer, but we can certainly take you on a thrilling journey through Belgium's top 10 must-visit places. Picture this, a country so intriguing that even its jokes leave you curious. And speaking of curiosity, we're about to embark on an adventure that promises to be anything but ordinary. Ready to explore? Let's hop on, no ladder needed. If you're enjoying this virtual Belgian adventure, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're thrilled to have you on board for this journey and we'd love to hear from you. So tell us in the comments what's your favorite Belgian destination or maybe there's a place in Belgium you're excited to visit. We're eager to hear your stories and suggestions. Now, let's buckle up and continue our thrilling exploration of Belgium's top attractions. On to our first stop. Starting off our countdown in the 10th spot, we have the Atomium, a place where science meets art. Towering over the city of Brussels, this iconic structure is a tribute to the atomic age and a symbol of Belgium's scientific prowess. Born out of the Expo 58 World's Fair, the Atomium was designed to represent the atomic structure of iron magnified 165 billion times. It's a stunning blend of scientific inspiration and architectural genius. Each of the nine spheres that make up this structure houses exhibitions and installations, offering a unique glimpse into the world of science and technology. But it's not just about the science. The Atomium also boasts incredible panoramic views of the city from its top sphere. It's a place of discovery, learning, and unparalleled views. So if you're a fan of all things shiny and scientific, make sure to check out the Atomium. Moving on to the ninth spot, we have the Royal Greenhouses of Laken, a paradise for plant lovers. This botanical wonderland is no ordinary greenhouse. It's a world of glass and steel constructed in the late 19th century by King Leopold II. With its diverse collection of exotic plants and rare flowers from around the globe, the Royal Greenhouses are a testament to Belgium's horticultural heritage. Walking through the Royal Greenhouses is like stepping into a living, breathing art gallery. Each greenhouse is meticulously designed to create the perfect environment for its inhabitants. From towering palm trees in the palm house to delicate orchids in the winter garden, each room offers a unique and captivating experience. And let's not forget the stunning architectural beauty of the greenhouses themselves. Their Art Nouveau design is a sight to behold, with intricate details that sparkle in the sunlight. So if you've got green fingers or just love marveling at beautiful plants, the Royal Greenhouses of Laken are waiting for you. At the eighth spot, we have the Waterloo Battlefield, where history whispers in the wind. Picture this. The year is 1815, the Napoleonic Wars are at their climax, and here at Waterloo, a decisive battle is about to unfold. The echoes of cannon fire, the clash of swords, the cries of soldiers, they all resonate in this hallowed ground. Today, this battlefield stands as a testament to the tumultuous past, offering a vivid window into the pivotal events that shaped the course of European history. Visitors to the Waterloo battlefield can expect an immersive journey into the past. Walk the same ground where armies once marched, explore the panoramic Lion's Mound, and discover the intricacies of warfare in the visitor center. The battlefield is not just a place, it's a story, a chronicle of bravery, strategy, and historical turning points. For history buffs out there, the Waterloo Battlefield is your time machine to the past. In the seventh place, we invite you to the Royal Palace of Brussels, where grandeur meets history. This is not just a palace, it's a testament to Belgium's rich heritage and opulent architectural prowess. The Royal Palace of Brussels, nestled in the heart of the city, is a sight to behold. It's more than just the king's administrative residence, it's a symbol of the nation's constitutional monarchy, the palace's majestic rooms, adorned with ornate decorations, reflect the elegance and sophistication of a bygone era. Stories of powerful monarchs, political intrigues, and historic events echo through its grand halls. Every detail, every corner of this palace, speaks volumes about Belgium's intriguing past. But it's not all about history. The palace is also home to a stunning collection of contemporary art, a perfect blend of the past and present. So whether you're a history buff, an art enthusiast, or someone who appreciates architectural beauty, this place has something for you. If you want to feel like royalty, the Royal Palace of Brussels is your throne. In the sixth spot, 
we have the Belgian Comic Strip Center, where laughter and art collide. Nestled in the heart of Brussels, this museum is a tribute to the joyous world of comic strips. It's not just about Tintin and the Smurfs, though they are the stars of the show. The center celebrates the entire spectrum of the Belgian comic strip, from its humble beginnings in the early 20th century to the present day. The museum resides in a gorgeous Art Nouveau building designed by the famous architect Victor Horta. Inside, you'll find an impressive collection of comic strip originals, sketches, and even life-size models. The center also hosts temporary exhibitions, keeping the content fresh and exciting. But it's not all about observing. Visitors also get the chance to create their own comic strips in interactive workshops. So, if you're a fan of comics or just a kid at heart, the Belgian Comic Strip Center is your playground. Halfway through our countdown in the fifth place, we have the Grand Place, the beating heart of Brussels. This enchanting square is the city's crown jewel, a testament to Brussels' rich history and vibrant culture. Picture this, a stunning ensemble of opulent gilded buildings, each more breathtaking than the last, encircling a bustling square. This is the Grand Place, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's not hard to see why. Its breathtaking beauty is matched only by its historical significance, having been a central marketplace since the 12th century. But the Grand Place is more than just a pretty face. It's a living, breathing part of the city. It is where the people of Brussels come to meet, celebrate and live their lives. From the daily flower market to the biennial Carpet of Flowers Festival, there's always something happening here. For a taste of true Belgian spirit, don't miss out on the Grand Place. In the fourth place, we have the Belfry of Bruges, a towering testament to Belgium's medieval history. This iconic structure, standing at a stunning 83 meters tall, is more than just a pretty face in the city's skyline. The Belfry of Bruges carries a rich past, dating back to the 13th century. It once served as a treasury, a storehouse, and a watchtower to protect the city. Today, it's a beacon of Bruges' storied heritage, drawing visitors from around the globe. Each of the Belfry's 366 steps tells a tale of resilience and timeless beauty. At the top, you're rewarded with a breathtaking panorama of the city's red-tiled roofs, winding canals, and bustling squares. This view is a testament to the charm and allure of this medieval city that continues to captivate visitors year after year. If you're not afraid of heights and love a good view, the Belfry of Bruges is your stairway to heaven. In the third place, we have Antwerp Zoo, one of the oldest and most diverse zoos in the world. Nestled in the beating heart of the city, it's a place where the wild meets the urban in the most harmonious of ways. Imagine strolling through the lush greenery, the air filled with the exotic calls of over 7,000 animals from over 900 species. From the majestic lions of the African plains to the playful penguins of the Antarctic, this zoo is a living, breathing testament to the beauty of biodiversity. But Antwerp Zoo isn't just a place to meet the animals of the world. It's also a place of conservation, research, and education. Here, every visitor becomes a part of a global effort to understand, protect, and preserve our planet's wildlife. So whether you're a budding biologist or simply an animal enthusiast, there's always something to marvel at. If you're an animal lover, Antwerp Zoo is your safari in the heart of the city. In the second place, we have the Ardennes, a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. Now, this is not just any forest, it's a sprawling oasis of greenery that stretches across Belgium, Luxembourg, and France. It's a place where the air is always fresh and the scenery breathtaking. The Ardennes is a paradise for those who love to hike, bike, or simply enjoy the peace and tranquility of nature. It boasts a myriad of paths and trails, each one opening up to stunning views and landscapes. And let's not forget the wildlife. From deer to wild boars, bird watchers and animal lovers will find plenty to marvel at. The Ardennes is also home to enchanting castles and quaint little towns, each with its own unique charm. Imagine exploring a medieval fortress in the morning and then enjoying a hearty Belgian waffle in a charming cafe in the afternoon. If you love nature and outdoor adventures, the Ardennes is your playground. And finally, in the first place, we have the Bruges Canals, the Venice of the North. Bruges is a city that time forgot where every corner turn takes you back to a different era. The canals, the lifeblood of the city, 
meander through cobbled streets and under stone bridges forming a network of waterways that are as charming as they are functional. Dubbed the Venice of the North, Bruges canals offer a unique perspective of the city. As you glide along the waterways, you're enveloped by a sense of tranquility and romance that's hard to find elsewhere. You are surrounded by charming medieval buildings, their reflections dancing on the water's surface, creating an almost surreal atmosphere. It's no wonder, then, that the canals of Bruges have inspired countless artists and writers throughout history. They're a testament to the city's rich past and enduring beauty, a beauty that even time hasn't managed to tarnish. If you're a romantic at heart, the Bruges canals is your fairy tale come to life. And there you have it. The top 10 must-visit places in Belgium. From the iconic Atomium Silver Spheres to the Royal Greenhouse's lush flora, the historic Waterloo Battlefield to the stately Royal Palace of Brussels, the whimsical Belgian Comic Strip Center, the majestic Grand Place, the towering Belfry of Bruges, the delightful Antwerp Zoo, the tranquil Ardennes, and the serene Bruges Canals. Each one, a unique testament to Belgium's rich heritage and vibrant culture. So, ready to pack your bags? Just remember, no ladders required, unless you're planning on stealing the Atomium. And that's a wrap on our Belgian adventure. We've covered the top 10 must-visit places in this charming country, each offering a unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty. From the shimmering Atomium to the tranquil Ardennes, there's a little something for everyone in Belgium. Now it's your turn to experience these wonders firsthand. So why wait? Start planning your own Belgian adventure, and don't forget, we'd love to hear from you. Which of these places would you visit first? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, safe travels.